In the past week, it seems that almost everyone in Marquette County has walked, skated, run, or biked around Marquette's Lower Harbor Ore Dock. Would you like to know the history behind it? Ninety years ago this summer, work started on DSSNA Dock Number 6. It was to replace Dock Number 5, a wooden structure that sat right next to where Dock Number 6 was being built. Dock Number 5 was nearing the end of its 30-year life, and so in the heart of the Great Depression, work was started on Dock 6. This was a twin to the Upper Harbor Dock built 20 years earlier, a steel and concrete beast that would stand up to the pounding of Lake Superior. 100,000 wooden pilings were sunk into the lake bed, and upon those sat the new dock. For the next 40 years, iron ore was shipped from dock number 6. Trains would reach the top of it from a huge wooden trestle that cut through several blocks of downtown Marquette. And by the time the last boat left in 1972, hundreds of millions of tons of iron ore had left the UP from that dock. The dock sat in Lower Harbor unused for the next quarter century, the wooden approach trestle still attached. When the city of Marquette purchased all the rail lines and the land around it, it took the trestle down but left the ore dock standing. Plans to redevelop it have been ongoing since the turn of this century, thanks to an agreement with the state of Michigan which owns the land upon which the dock sits. That may someday happen. But as it has for 90 years, DSSNA Dock Number 6 still sits in Lower Harbor, not only a defining feature of the city of Marquette, but this winter, one of its favorite playgrounds as well.